Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. I'm here to answer a, a viewer's question today. And uh, this one is uh, an interesting one, and I get it quite frequently with the older reels that haven't been serviced. And I have two jig masters here because I'm going to demonstrate uh, on both of these just so that uh, you become aware of how to, uh, how to do this. But the question involves, how do I free a stuck side plate? And uh, that stuck side plate involves the single screw take apart system. And that's, uh, that's available on a couple of different reels. It's available on the Surfmasters, the Squitter, the 99, uh, Model 99 uh, Silver Beach, the um, uh, Jigmaster, and if I missed any, so be it. There's, there might be a couple of others out there. But typically what happens is that these side plates don't get taken off, the reel doesn't get serviced, and a lot of salt, either because it's worked its way in behind the spool, or because it's worked its way through the cracks, or whatever, it just tends to clog the channels that, uh, that these uh, side plates ride in. And you'll see that on this one. You'll see that the way that this um, side plate is set up is you insert the side plate that has three pins on it into the channel, and then you give it a rotation in a clockwise direction to set it, and then in a counterclockwise uh, rotation to, uh, to release it. But what happens is all that salt and dirt and grease and grime and dried whatever gets trapped in here and it makes it difficult to get it out. So we're going to show you how do you do that, or at least an assist. I won't guarantee that it will get done, but I will guarantee you that it works at least nine times out of ten with me. And uh, if you have this problem, and one of our viewers did, they wrote in, said, how do I, how do, I do it? Uh, then I'll show you how to do it. So I'm using two jig masters as an example because you're going to find the jig master that has the, the separate crossbars. And then you're going to find the later edition that has the, uh, the single uh, two-in-one kind of bar with those little uh, um, holes in between. And you may also find that you have the one that has flat with no holes. We'll talk about that in just a moment. So how do you do this? You've been straining all day. You've been pulling that out. Maybe you haven't even been able to get this out. Well, uh, we'll show you how to do that. Uh, but you've been going like this and you just it's just not moving, right? So what you actually do is you go old school. You go to the other side of the reel and you remove the side plate. So let's go do that. I'm going to do that on the one. I'm not going to do it on both. We'll pretend that we did it on the other one. But in the uh, sake of time and, and effort, uh, you'll get the point. So there's six screws on this side that are the hold downs for the side plate. That's the non-gear side plate. I'm just going to put these right on my desk. We're not even going. Interestingly enough, I just took that screw out. It's the wrong screw. I guess things happen like that. A, I said it's the wrong screw because it's a short screw. It doesn't, uh, a long screw belongs in there. But I guess somewhere along this reel's history, it probably lost a screw, and uh, somebody just went as, as best they can. I, I, when I have a screw that gets stuck in the channel, I just kind of tap it. It's a little plastic handle. It's not going to, to hurt anything. Uh, you can actually wait till you pull the, uh, the side plate off if you want to. Now, I have a couple of short screws in here, but that's okay. Well, we're not dealing with how to attach your not install, that's another short screw that doesn't belong there. But uh, you, what you want to do is you want to take the side plate off and then take the spool out and then go ahead and put the side plate back on. Hmm, as Alice said in, uh, in Alice in Wonderland, things are getting curiouser and curiouser. Why would you do that, right? Remember that side plate over there is, in our imagination, is stuck, right? Okay, so let's just put the side plate screws back in. And while I'm doing that, I want to thank our first responders, our uh, EMTs, first aid squads, the volunteers, the firemen, the police, the uh, folks that are involved in uh, our criminal justice system, like the... Uh, 
prison guards and the like, correctional institutions, the folks that are involved in uh, providing security during this crazy time, but also providing comfort, knowing that uh, they are on the front lines of the, the uh, pandemic. So firefighters, police, uh, certainly the healthcare field. If you're a healthcare professional, thank you for everything it is that you're doing. And uh, my thank you to uh, all of you is that I am offering to repair a reel of your choice uh, at no charge to you uh, through the end of January. Just uh, contact me on the email uh, that follows on my business card, and I'll be happy to provide you with the information. All you need to do is get the reel to me, and once that reel is with me, there'll be no charge for the service or the return of the reel to you. Okay, so we've taken this, the spool out. Well, why did we do that? Well, you'll learn in a moment, but the first thing that you'll learn is you want to get a penetrating oil. In this case, this is just a generic uh, penetrating oil. It's Luby. I think it's an Ace Hardware brand, store brand, right? Not, uh, not that important. I like the, the hose. You don't need that little, uh, little pipe there, but if you do, flood the reel right along the seam where that side plate attaches, just like that. And then walk away. Go get yourself a cup of coffee, do whatever. Let it sit. Let it sit for at least a half an hour, maybe an hour if you're even better than that. But let it do its job. It needs to work its way down and through, right? We want to see that there, which you can do also. Uh, we'll do it here just as a demonstration. Put it on this seam. This, the inner seam, and then again, walk away. Have that cup of coffee. Go watch, uh, you know, an episode of your favorite television show, whatever, and come back. Don't rush anything because that thing's been stuck a while now, and uh, you're not going to unstick it in, in a minute or two. You're going to need to uh, just be patient and, uh, and let it sit. Okay, sometimes you can just simply... Back off the thumb screw, pull it out, and you'll be able to break the seam uh, like that. Sometimes you can't. So why did we go to the trouble other than to get the penetrating oil behind the ring? Well, use the real strength against you. The strength is the crossbars. And if you have a thin bladed screwdriver, just put the screwdriver through the bars. Now you got a good grip on that frame, right? And now you pull up on the screw and, and pull the other one out and pull down and you've got the leverage to pop that side plate. Okay? Easy enough, right? Now, there's nothing holding it in here, right? So don't be afraid that, that you're going to rip out a screw or you're somehow going to damage the side plate. There's nothing holding it. There's the three tracks that uh, are here. And again, it's a when you rotate counterclockwise, you're pulling it up the track and over and out. It's it's really a, relatively a simple process. So why did I show you the other one? Well, you don't have that hole there, do you? We're just going to pretend that, that we've just done everything else with that one there. But again, just go in with a. In this case, you can use a really big screwdriver, right? Doesn't matter because you've got the clearance there. Get a screwdriver blade in to give you the leverage to hold it, whatever way you're comfortable with it, whether you're comfortable going in, uh, holding it from this side, or if you want to pull up on this side, doesn't, doesn't really matter and push down, right? This one's broken, but uh, you'll get the idea, right? You just kind of un undo the thumb screw, hold that as leverage, and do that. All right, what happens if you have the solid, uh, solid face plate then? You don't have the holes there. Do it this way come in underneath and again just use the strength of that frame keep your keep your screwdriver or your pry bar or whatever it is that you choose to use there. I mean heck use the handle of a hammer if you want on this one right doesn't matter whatever you want to use for uh, leverage get it over close to the frame the uh, face of the frame where it is stuck and then again just grab it however is convenient for you and now you've got the leverage between the handle and the handle or the blade of your screwdriver to do that extra little bit of force there. And again, don't be afraid on this one because there's nothing that's going to break inside this circle. I think a lot of us want to uh, jump to conclusions and say, gosh, there must be something holding it on in here. And uh, there's not. <laughs> so 
Just uh, just wanted to show that it's an answer to a, uh, a viewer's question. All right, what if this one is stuck, right? Uh, you've got this on, and this is stuck. You just you can't pull it out or anything. Well, then I just recommend that you grab a, uh, a pliers. Again, you've gone through the, the exercise of spreading, uh, uh, spraying this down with a, uh, a penetrating oil like the one I showed you, or WD-40, or Liquid Wrench, or any of the ones that are out there. Then you want to grab a, uh, a pliers. This is a lineman's pliers. Grab that and pull as best you can to free that up. And you can always see if it's free or not because the, the hole for the screw is actually here. And you can see it, especially when you take that spool out and see where that hole is. And visually, you can see that you're either in or out on that. So pull that out with the pliers if it happens to be stuck in the case. I haven't seen too many examples of that. I've seen them where they're, they're a little bit hard to get out, but generally the penetrating oil will do that. So uh, that's, uh, that's the subject of today's uh, thing. Just a, a helpful hint to a viewer who's got a stuck side plate on a... Surfmaster, which is a single uh, screw take apart system. Uh, that's how I do it. If uh, somebody else does it differently, well, I'll certainly leave those tips in the uh, in the comments section because we can all learn from that, and uh, everybody uh, is will be in a better position for that. So uh, you can see I'm still working on those jig masters from the uh, the uh, commercial fishing uh, boat. There, I'm almost done with them, but. Uh, they do give me a lot of opportunities to address some of the questions that uh, our viewers have. So please have a health, healthy and safe and happy new year. I wish you uh, blessings and prosperity. I hope everybody uh, is safe in 2021. And I hope that uh, sooner than later, this pandemic uh, is something that we'll view as a learning experience and put it behind us rather than uh, living this thing on a day in day out basis. So this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please like it. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And if you do subscribe, please uh, leave the notifications. If you have a question like the viewer did here, please leave it in the comment section. If I can, I'll try and give you a uh, an answer to that. Whether I do a video or not uh, really doesn't matter. Sometimes those questions can just be answered in an email. So uh, leave it in the comment section. And then finally, if you have a reel that needs to be serviced, as I mentioned earlier, if you're a first responder, I'll do it for uh, no charge. And uh, if, if you're not a first responder, well, contact me on the uh, by email on the business card that follows, and I'll provide you with that repair information. So this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Have a great day.